Hi folks, Festus here, uh, February 2015, and uh, just wanted to give you a update on the uh, the final of the uh, restoration on the Plant Junior wheel hole, and uh, I'm really pleased on the way it came out, um, much better than I expected. And if you remember in the first video how kind of worn and rusty it was, um, handles are all done. Um, they came out really, really good. Uh, I sanded them down, used uh, uh, you know finish on it, and then sealed it. Um, and if you probably recall, there on a lot of the Plant Juniors, there's uh, the Plant Junior name on the inside. Well, it was so faded, the uh, and the uh, wood was so oxidized that I just decided uh, it wasn't worth saving, and then just uh, sanded it down and, and cleaned everything up. Um, while I'm looking here, I want you to uh, take a close look at the, uh, the inside here. And, uh, on all of them, they have the Plant Junior stamping and then USA on top. Um, pretty much uh, Plant Junior put their name on everything. If you look at the, uh, the wrenches and uh, all the, uh, and the sweeps, um, there's always the Plant Junior name uh, stamped on it. You can kind of see it right there. This is the uh, moldboard plow and again it looks brand new. Um, the uh, the color I used uh, it's uh, this uh, it's called uh, Oliver Green. It's a little bit darker than the uh, um, John Deere Green which I was really going to use but uh, I'm much happier with it. Um, picked it up at Tractor Supply. The uh, handles um, you know, in, in the first video I said that the handles were uh, more than likely uh, white oak. Well, I got a feeling now, I compared it to some white oak I had, and I got a feeling it's probably more ash. It's got the uh, same texture as a baseball bat, and uh, again, it's, it's rock hard. And uh, so I got a feeling that, you know, most uh, handles for uh, implements are made out of ash. So more than likely of ash and uh, again and then I finished it uh, with uh, uh, Danish oil and then uh, put a uh, Minwax uh, 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 semi-gloss uh, natural finish on it um, but uh, yeah again uh, like I said it came out uh, much better than I had originally anticipated considering the condition it was when I got it so anyways uh, let me uh, put it down on the floor and uh, I want to show you something else. Um, the uh, if you remember, I had two of the wheel hose. Uh, uh, the other one had a cast iron wheel, and uh, that one uh, it's still ready for paint. But I had the wheel put in the electrolysis tank, got all the rust off, put just a little bit of wire wheeling on it. And I decided to have some fun with it, and I did a two-tone uh, paint between the black and the uh, Oliver Green on the uh, star pattern. It came out pretty sharp. Uh, and again, uh, uh, these are the sweeps for it. Still painted the uh, lower part, but again, that's in the uh, Oliver Green, and the actual sweep part will be plain black. But anyways, uh, you get me in a barn, and. Uh, you know, I start seeing, look, poking around and seeing things, and then again, of course, what happens? I start making offers on everything, and uh, uh, found this uh, another Planet Junior, um, and we got some sweeps, and actually, this sweep looks more. <laughs> I've never seen a sweep that long before, because you compare it to the the other one, and again. Officially, Planet Junior has their name embossed on everything. Um, interesting thing about this wheel, it's a little bit different. And again, I got a uh, another uh, moldboard plow here. And uh, this, uh, I, I'm assuming it's a, a, a later model because on the wheel of the other one, um, the uh, the hub is actually uh, a combination of pressed steel and uh, cast iron and it has a uh, uh, oh, didn't show you on the other one but this uh, piece here would be cast iron and it had a grease fitting on it this one is actually two pieces of pressed steel um, with the uh, these are all pressed steel here and have them all riveted together and there's no grease fitting on it 
So I'm assuming this is a later model and probably, you know, cut production. They uh, eliminated that. Um, it's in pretty good shape. Yeah, complete anyways. Um, this has the, uh, they call them uh, duckbill uh, uh, cultivating teeth um, that were, uh, that came with it. Um, interesting thing when I look at this, uh, the original colors of most of the uh, plant juniors are a, a form of green and when I look at this one here and you look it up close and you see some of the original color in there it's actually painted orange and uh, you know, you see other remnants of the orange in it. Uh, another interesting thing and if you remember I, I showed you before the Planet Junior would always have Planet Junior here with the USA well this doesn't have that it just has a square stamping here and the uh, stamping uh, cast number M180 I haven't done any homework on it to figure out uh, what that means but uh, I just kind of find it interesting looking all over the entire uh, piece that there's no Planet Junior stamping on it and also if you look on the uh, arms here where the, uh, the handles once were this painted black and also the uh, duckbill uh, cultivators were painted black so I'm uh, not sure on what I'm going to do with it as far as uh, either restoring it like the other one and see one of the problems is I end up restoring stuff and end up looking so good I hate to use it in the yard and I'm going to say well what am I going to do with it now well, maybe I'll put it in the museum somewhere but uh, this one uh, will be put to work for sure and uh, again maybe I'll just take some of the rust off it uh, spray it with some preservative and uh, uh, make some handles for it I got uh, another set of handles for the uh, other Planet Junior so uh, um, I can make a pattern and probably make them out of oak because I don't know if I'm going to be able to find any ash for them. But uh, that's uh, that's where the things stand today. Um, so uh, I'll keep you updated. Oh, I looked outside a little bit while ago. It's snowing like crazy. So um, uh, it'll be a couple of months before springtime gets here. But uh, can't wait. There's two feet of snow outside and. Uh, the long winters are getting very, very long. So, anyways, I'll keep you updated and uh, um, keep a lookout for any future updates. Uh, take care, folks. Fest this out.